you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be cooking dinner for my family so here is a little glimpse of what I'm making we are starting out with some butter and we're gonna add this into our water usually I wait for my water to boil up and then I'll add it in but right now it's it's okay you know it's still gonna cook the same so it's fine here I'm starting out with some ground beef and um, mine's is a little frozen I forgot to take it out in time but it's fine because the heat from the pan will help dissolve the dissolve it from being frozen so you know just take your time this meal usually takes me about 30 minutes to make so it's a quick meal I really enjoy making this um, especially on colder nights because you know we tend to gear towards comfort foods when it comes to cooler nights and you know just dinner in general sometimes for us it's a little bit heavier which is not a great thing because of course you still have to go to sleep and it's not good to go to sleep with a heavy stomach so but either way this this is what I'm doing this is what I'm starting out with I have the noodles you know cooking I did use the bene noodles and then I like to brown my meat all the way until <clears throat> it's looking like this and then I will drain it because I do not like to keep the oil in my meat when I cook I always 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 doesn't matter when I make whenever I make ground beef I literally will take out the oil because girl we do not want that in our food like that's just extra excess fat that you don't need in your food it's not the best for you so anyways I'm going in with some garlic powder and some salt and we are just seasoning the meat a little before we add our pasta sauce I like to just you know mix it in a little and then you know I go in with my garlic and herb uh, pasta sauce this is what I like to use you can use whatever you want for cheeses you can use whatever flavor you want this is just usually the one I get because it has like chunks of tomato in there then here I'm going to be shredding some mozzarella cheese I don't use it usually use mozzarella cheese but for this is all I had on hand it's usually the Oaxaca cheese that I use because it melts a lot better and it just looks a lot prettier here I'm draining these noodles making sure to get all that water out because we don't need that we have enough water inside of the the pasta sauce here so here I just transferred it of course into a little disposable tray because I already have all these other dishes to wash so I wanted to do something that was gonna help me have less cleanup and not have it just sitting in a big dish for days so here I'm adding the cheese on on top of it but we're gonna be mixing mixing it in just because that'll help the pasta and the sauce all adhere together but here I am I'm mixing it up and you can see how ooey gooey the cheese is it's just so like I love to just do this part this is like one of my favorite parts because you see where this, the cheese gets super stringy and it's just it looks super scrumptious and good. So here I am going to go in with more cheese on the top. And this is just going to give it like a little bit more of a nicer appearance and it's just gonna add more cheese girl because a lot of us like a little more cheese than others but this just makes it look a little prettier ok 
Okay, so now we are going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees. And I'm going to get my breadsticks here and I'm just going to put them onto the tray. And these will cook 5 to 7 minutes. I want to say it's on 350 degrees if I'm not mistaken um, for the breadsticks. But I cook them, you know, the pasta I'll cook it for 20 minutes, sometimes 30 depending like how I want the top of the cheese to look and then the breadsticks usually are five to seven minutes here I'm just using this Caesar salad kit and we are just mixing all the ingredients together this is my son's favorite pasta I mean pasta favorite salad he loves Caesar salads it's one of his favorites so this is what I am doing for my boys and they just love it <laughs> because you bake it in the oven now I'm just gonna plate it for you guys so you can see how I plate my meals um, they don't have to be perfect or anything I just plate them you know for photos or sometimes just because I like the way it looks like as far as like presentation <music> side salad and our breadstick all plated nice and good so pretty thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you guys on the next one